it was my uncle Alf, no, it was my uncle Alf who actually, he got me into the business. He got me into the business. Summer job, I was still at school, but uh, he had an inn, he had an inn, not a pub, I mean an inn, you know what I'm saying? He had an inn at uh, Blackpool Teller Circus, and uh, I went down there for a, for a summer job, and I get in, hey, he says to me, you're the trainee lion tamer. I said, I don't think so, I'm not, I'm not keen on animals for a start, you know, and he said, oh, it's easy. Easy, he said to me, That's, it's one of them jobs, looks hard, it's easy. I said, oh, I, lions. He said, don't bother, don't bother, go in. Take this chair with you, because I don't, I don't know if you know this, lions, they bloody hate chairs. Oh, they hate chairs, I'm telling you now. If you're ever going on safari, before you shut that door, think, I've got a chair. You're going to need one. You're going to need one, because they bloody hate chairs, right? I said, right, so what do I do with this chair? I'm 16, I don't know. I'm not, no, I'm not much David Attenborough at all, you know. So I'm there, he said, you prod them. Just prod them, just prod them like that. I said, what's the lion doing? He said, oh, the lion's going bloody mad. It's like, ah, 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 they bloody hate chairs. He's going, ah, ah. I said, right, I said, so let me just paint this scenario for you, because we're good at English. I said, let me just paint this scenario for you. The lion gets lucky, the chair goes, what do I do? He said, what you do is this, you don't panic, because they can smell fear. You back up to the bars very slowly, shrug, appear unconcerned, nonchalant, whistle a happy tune, have on guard. When you get to bars, two foot bars, bend down, get a handful of shit, throw it at them, because they hate shit. Shit in chairs. Attenborough's doing a Christmas special on it, call shit in chairs. They ate shit, they ate chairs, lions. I said, right, let me get this right. I'm in there. Whoa, 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 whoa! Lions got it, you see. Lions got lucky. I'm nonchalant, I'm shrugging, I'm taking your advice, I'm avant-garde, I'm Renault Cleo, I'm all them things. I get to bar, I bend down, what if there's no shit? He said, oh, there will be. Don't worry about that, there will be, eh? So that was my introduction to show business, and it's been, you know, ever since. <laughs> I had a very happy childhood, very happy childhood, but eight of us in family, eight kids, all in the one bed, three bedwetters. I could swim by the time I were two. I could, honest to God. My mum used to say to me, which end of the bed do you want to sleep in? And I'd say, if you don't mind tonight, shallow end. It were that bad. You used to wake up in the morning, you used to wake up in the morning. If it were warm, there were a rainbow. It were hard work, you know what I mean? It were hard work. I were breastfed till I was six. Breastfed. She used to come to school, I went to playground and she used to breastfeed me through railings. Like that, through railings. And she were, she were a bit of a gossip, my mum, a bit of a gossip. So if she saw somebody she, she knew up there, she were off for a chat, and I'm like, oh, bloody up railings like that, she forgot I were there. I don't know, I were hard times, you know, hard times, but happy times. Christmas, that's always the time, isn't it, when you notice it most. But if you don't know it, you don't have it, you don't want it, do you? You know what I mean? So uh, first Christmas, I, I wanted some, I made a list. I said, all I want, all I want is something to wear and something to play with. So they bought me a pair of shorts and cut the pockets out. See, that's thinking, isn't it, eh? That's thinking, eh? Bless them. And we didn't... Christmas dinner, no turkey, no turkey. They bought me this. They bought me this uh, a kipper, especially for me. Look, I was at six now. I got the kipper. I got a kipper, pair of Brussels sprouts. I couldn't eat it. I couldn't eat it. I thought they killed a mermaid. I couldn't eat the bloody thing. I'm like, I can't eat that, Dad. It were happy time, though. Happy time. We couldn't go... Decor... Decor... Let's start again. We couldn't afford decorations. Oh, no, because... Uh, no money, so what we used to do is get a tree out at the garden, you know, bless and we used to sit it next to my grandma and wait till she sneezed. It had the same effect, you know, same sort of tinsel effect for you there. But aye, happy days, happy days. There, were, uh, there was, it was a nick up in it all, though, I have to say. My dad liked to drink, and he, he came home from the pub one night, and I don't know, he, I don't know what was going through his mind, but he got us out of bed, he got all of us lined up, all eight kids, and he got my mum in, midnight. He said, right, he said, right, he said, I've been thinking, I've been looking, I've been thinking. He said, one of them kids there, number six, I couldn't remember her names, you know, he said, number six there, he um, it looks different to all the others, and now we've been married 25 years, you owe me an explanation, you owe me the truth, has he got a different father to all the others? And she said, uh, well, actually, I do owe it to you, you are right, you've been a good husband, and he has, he has got a different father to all the others. And he said, right then, woman, out with it, who is it? He said, it's you. You know what I mean? So, happy days, but, you know, problems, 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 eh? You move on, don't you?